Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Rolling Line video. A bunch of you guys have actually asked for this video, so here it is. Uh, essentially, we are going to be playing on this map today. This is a new one that I haven't actually played with before. Uh, it has moving parts. Look at that. That thing actually... It's a crane. It totally works. But anyway, uh, we got a bunch of stuff to move, a bunch of new cargo to actually show you guys, and uh, yeah, that is essentially what we're going to do today. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Alright, so essentially what I want to be doing today is I want to move these onto the main line. We're going to actually attach them onto the old uh, the old cargo as well, uh, because I think that makes sense. This is new American cargo. Uh, it's actually in the new update, and, you know, it's just a lot bigger. Um, and it looks really cool. So we're going to attach those onto here. We're then going to put them on the main line, going this way, uh, and they're going to get sent out that direction. They're also going to attach onto here as well, because... Um, yeah, why not? So we need a locomotive to actually pull those, but once we've got that, we can totally get it going. We then need to actually move this cargo as well onto the main line, but the other main line, which is going to go this way, off the track and off in that direction, it's going to be pretty cool. We're then also going to um, go inside of these sheds. Now we've got two types of new cargo in these sheds, one on this side and one on this side, and uh, they're, they're actually pretty cool, as you guys can see. Oh wow, wait, they're actually too big for the shed. Whoops. But anyway, I'm going to close that up for now. We're going to go ahead and get ourselves a locomotive, like this one right here. And we're going to start moving some cargo around. So, let's go ahead and get this one sent first. Because, um, yeah, why not? Uh, we'll see which direction it goes. I think it'll stay on the main line, uh, which is pretty awesome. And it'll all go off the map. Yeah. Alrighty, so that is pretty much the end of this locomotive. We will not be seeing this this train actually anymore. So, uh, see ya. Oh wait, can we actually go inside these carriages? Look at this, there's actually seats in here. That's really cool. Alright, if we go to the next one and we go through here, there's also seats in this one too. That's pretty epic. This one looks like a male one. And if we go to the next one, this is uh, actually the locomotive. Cool, that's actually really cool. Okie dokie, it's time to use this thing. We're going to go ahead and put the cab light on. We're also going to put the headlights on. Let's get it moving forwards. We're going to be moving this one backwards onto the other tracks. We're going to get the American cargo and the other rusty cargo. And we're going to put that on the main line too. Alright, there's going to be a lot of movement here. We need to uh, flick this over. There we go. We can then go this way. We then need to flick this one over as well, I believe. We need this to go into reverse if we can. There we go. Have I just slapped that in reverse? I've slowed it all the way down. All right, you keep going. That's fine. Um, right, okay. Go, go, go. Go back. Yes. All right, so this is going to be reversing down here. It needs to reverse onto the American ones first and then onto those ones. All right, that's fine. Keep coming backwards. You got this. Look at that. That's actually really, really cool. All right, let's get inside of this so we can actually slow this down. There we go. Awesome. Don't go off the back, please. Oh, that's close. All right, there we go. Start moving it forwards again. Awesome. Uh, we're going to attach onto these, we're then going to get going, uh, and we're going to attach onto these guys, and then we're going to keep going off the map as well. Go, go, go! Yes! Oh, guys, this new cargo, or these new cargo, this new cargo actually looks pretty awesome. The tankers, they look, they look round, they look very rounded, but they're a lot longer and a lot bigger than normal ones, uh, and that's actually really, really cool. Look at these ones, they're tiny, compared, in comparison, they're, they're tiny. Uh, right, we need to uh, slow it down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. we're going to lose one here. We lost one. Rip. All right, don't worry about it. We're just going to grab it and we're going to put it on. There we go. All right, awesome. That is now a pretty long train. All right, let's keep it going. It's going to get onto the main line once again. It's going to go past here. All right, all the way to here. Then we're going to reverse it down this track onto here. And then we're going to send the whole train uh, off the map. Alright, I'm not gonna lie guys, I accidentally muted myself for that whole bit, but uh, essentially we've picked up this cargo now, and we have sent it on its way. It's actually been sent all the way around here, uh, and I did notice something. They go through this tunnel, right? They go through the tunnel, woo, like this, and then they actually go like under slash around the outside of the map, uh, which is really, really weird, but there you go. Look at that. It's going through all the sand. That's really strange.
Okay, so that might seem like it's actually the end, but it's not because we have two more, actually three more uh, bits of cargo that we have to move. Essentially, we got to move these logs and these empty cars right here. We also have to move these things, which are inside of here, that I'm not going to show you guys until we get a, uh, a locomotive here. All right, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a locomotive, shall we? Let's have a little look at this. I want a really small one, actually. Uh, I think we'll actually run with... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to run with actually one of the original shunters. Here we go. We're going to go with this thing. We're going to put it right there. We're also going to grab another one of those. We're going to put it right there. And that is awesome. It looks like we've actually connected to our cargo. We're going to push that one in. That one's also connected. All right. Open sesame. Very nice. And let's get these moving. All right. So this one right here is the auto cars. These are used to uh, transport vehicles, I believe. Uh, although I'm not entirely sure on that one. So... Let me know in the comments down below if that is true. Um, but those are pretty cool. Look at them go. Awesome. We got them in yellow. We got them in brown. Uh, and they're actually really, really long. So, um, there you go. And these are also going to go on the main line. They're going to go all the way around this side. And it's going to be completely fine. Now, just to make this a little bit more exciting. We are going to go ahead and make this thing go really fast. We're then going to find the other bits, if we can. For some reason, I can't teleport. But we'll have a little look around here. There it is. We're going to make this go really fast, too. And, uh, yeah, those are going to be joining the main line. Kind of cool. All right, so now those ones have moved. We're actually going to get these ones out, which are hoppers. Yeah. Wait, that's backwards. Uh-oh. We've destroyed one. Guys, we've destroyed one. It fell off the back, and it was green. It was green. Oh, God, no. I wasn't expecting that to happen already. Oh, God. Okay, make this go really fast. Really fast. Oh, God, it's reversing. Sorry, my bad. What have I done? What have I done? There's going to be another one coming right behind this as well. But these ones have been just... What did that? I don't know how I... Ah. For some reason, I thought they'd continue along this line. They just didn't. Also, we got another one coming along the line very soon. Oh, no. I think they actually rammed each other. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's actually two trains here. That sucks. Uh, but ripperoni and pepperoni to those guys. Uh, and then the rest of them are actually attached together. We now just need to move this. But now that we've got a big problem here, I don't think we should. <laughs> I don't think we should. Let's get this on the track too. Why not? Off you go. Go on. Let's have this massive train come through as well. It is going to be coming through backwards too. So it's actually going to go this way. <gasps> interesting. Very interesting. Oh, I just noticed we got a steam train in here. We got a steam locomotive. All right, let's get it out. All right, open this door. Awesome. Uh, it is going to have to push its way through. Oh, that's just... See ya. That's just going through. It's going to have to push its way through all of this and actually go all the way around. But that's okay. All right, off you go. Full steam ahead. Off you go. Go on. I don't even know if this will work. Also, have I seen this before? I don't think I've seen this train before. Okay. It just... Whoa! Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> they just came through and demolished everything. Wow. Oh, there is actually something about this I wanted to show you guys as well. Uh, these are actually different. Look at this. So, these are brand new cargo. Uh, essentially, they're both hoppers, uh, but they're, they're different. So that's cool, right? One's a lot bigger, one's a lot shorter, uh, and they just look awesome. But this is part of the American Cargo update, and they look really cool. Anyway, uh, what is going on here? I, I want to fight these. I, I do. We're going to put this on this track, we're going to turn it around, and we're going to have a little fight. All right, let's go. They're going to ram each other, of course they are, but uh, it'll be fine, don't worry. All right, here it comes, the long train is coming through the, uh, wait, what is this? Whoa, can I make this drift? Oh, wait, it's winning. It totally won. That's crazy. That is... Oh, look what I did. Look at what I did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got drifting. Oh, God. Look at this. This is weird. This one's drifting. That's so strange. Oh, this is going to be kind of weird. This is going to be really strange, actually. Watch what these do. I just I just took that one off the track. But watch what this does. That's going to go that way. Right? Yeah. And then... And then this is going to go... Okay. Yeah, that's normal. Oh my god, what is it doing? What is it doing? It's out of here. The train is just, like, separated. That's really weird. We got, a, we got ghost cargo going on. Ghost cargo. That's weird. That is actually really strange. All right, well, anyway, before we actually finish, let's have a little look at this. So we've actually got Frog Rock. That is what that is over there, Frog Rock. We've also got, what is this, Glenmark? And we've also got... Wiperer. Let's have a little look at this. So this is Wiperer. Here we go. 
Oh my, there's actually a lot to look at here. That's crazy. Uh, welcome to the Weka. Weka Pass Railway. The Weka Pass Railway is a volunteer-run historic railway uh, that preserves 12 kilometers of track between... Uh, okay, there you go. Awesome. Uh, if you guys do actually want to read all of this, I will let you pause right here and you guys can read this. Uh, if we go to the next bit, we can actually let you guys read this as well. The English Electric DJ Locomotive. No, sorry, DG Locomotive. Uh, that's pretty cool. If we move on to this bit, we've actually got the crane. That's a real thing. That's awesome. Uh, has lots of preserved historic equipment, like this operational rail crane. Uh, there is also lots of coal and firebox wood in order to operate historic steam engines. Amazing. All right, cool. Move over to the next bit. Glenmark. Glenmark Station was built all the way back in 1910 and is a perfect example of the kind of historic railway stations you would see all the way around New Zealand. Amazing. Um, okay, let's actually have a little look at that. So this is the building, Glenmark, and then this is the picture of the actual real life building right there. Amazing. All right, quick, move on to the next bit. What is this? This is outside of Waipara. Uh, the railway passes through vineyards and farmland across the plains. Uh, rows of popular trees, or poplar trees, uh, light up in the bright shades of green, yellow, and orange during spring and autumn. Interesting. Look at that. That is actually a real photo. That is awesome. They're actually both real photos. That's crazy. Alright, move on to the next bit. What is this? Ooh, okay. The line winds through the various hills, cutting and curves, cuttings and curves, uh, of the Waker Pass. Interesting. Uh, let me know if it's actually pronounced Waker. Because it might not be. I'm not sure. Uh, the highway uh, follows alongside the tracks for parts of the journey. Above is one of the classic spots to spot to stop the train uh, and let passengers get out and take photos. Oh, really? Wait, so people actually get out on this bit of track? That's crazy. That is actually really, really crazy. Uh, right, move over to the next bit. Uh, Maori cave paintings. Ooh, cool. Nice. Uh, in the limestone, overhang underneath frog rock. Uh, there are some preserved rock paintings made by the indigenous Maori people over 1,000 years ago. These ancient paintings uh, depict people hunting as well as dogs and fish. Amazing. This is so educational. Crazy. Frog rock, look at that. Wait, is that actually there? Oh, look, he's put it in. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, that is actually an awesome map. Uh, everybody does actually have this uh, because it is part of the base game. You don't have to go in the workshop for any of this. So, um, yeah, I think you guys should, uh, you guys should check this out. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more Rolling Line, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.